Share. Geography lesson one, we live in two hemispheres. Two hemispheres, how can we possibly live in two hemispheres at the same time? Well, listen and learn. First of all, what does hemisphere mean? Well, hemi means half, and a sphere is a ball. So take this prefix hemi, combine it with sphere, and it means half of a ball. So a ball like this can be divided into half this way, with a top half and a bottom half, or half this way, with a left half and a right half. What does this mean when we're talking about the Earth? Well, the Earth is also a sphere. Uh, and this is the Earth. We're looking at North America here. Now, the Earth is also divided up in, uh, by an invisible grid. We can't see it, but scientists have created this grid to help us locate um, places on Earth. The grid looks like this. It's made up of lines that go um, horizontally, called lines of latitude, and lines that go vertically, called lines of longitude, also called meridians. There is a um, line right down, let's get rid of these lines I just drew right here. Let's turn the earth a little bit. Let's go so we're looking at Europe. Okay, now there's a line right through the middle of the earth, a line of latitude. It's called the equator. The equator divides the earth into a northern hemisphere, so a northern half of a ball, and a southern hemisphere. Now, everything above the equator is in the northern hemisphere. Everything below or south of the equator is in the southern hemisphere. Now, there are also other lines called lines of longitude, as we already said. And there's a very important one that goes right through the town of Greenwich, England. Okay, and that's called the Prime Meridian. Now, the Prime Meridian divides the Earth also into two hemispheres, an eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere. So everything on this side of the prime meridian is in the eastern hemisphere. Everything on this side is in the western hemisphere until you go around the Earth and you run into that line again. Now on this side of the Earth, um, you don't have to really remember this, but it's not called the prime meridian, it's called the anti-meridian. So once again, the Earth is divided up into four hemispheres, a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere and an eastern hemisphere. Let me go back over here. It'll make more sense looking at it here. An eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere. So if you're, say, in a spot, if we're in a spot in Africa right here, we are both in the northern hemisphere and we are also in the western hemisphere. If we are over here in Israel, we're again in the northern hemisphere, but we are also in the eastern hemisphere. So no matter where you are on the earth, you are either in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, and you're also in either the eastern hemisphere or the western hemisphere. And that's why we are always in two hemispheres at the same time.